Hello and welcome to Epic Tutorials. My name is Elliot Baring and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to copy and paste effects onto multiple tracks. So I'm going to open up Soundtrack Pro and I've got two Atmos tracks that I just got from the loop so I'm going to play them for you. Okay, now for this project, for an example, I'm going to want to adjust the EQ so it sounds like maybe I'm inside a house and I'm hearing it through a window and it's not so bright and open. So I'm going to open my mixer and I'm going to right click and choose Add Effect, EQ, Channel EQ. Now I'm just going to loop my section so it's just over that area so that way I can actually get a good idea as you can see my little channel EQ has disappeared just double click on it to bring it back so I'm going to probably just cut the arm um, highs until it sounds a bit more um, not as open and trebly okay and I might want to boost the mids Okay, so let's just say that's the perfect sound and I've spent a good five minutes trying to uh, get it just how I like it. You would think that Soundtrack Pro would allow you to drag and drop that EQ onto your second track. You can see I've got another track. It's a country field and because it's going to be the same location, I want it to have the exact same EQ. But it won't let me do that. You can't just drag and drop channels and apply it, which is really annoying. But what you can do so we'll bring our little um, EQ window open again. You click on Show Presets, and we want to add a plus, and we're going to call this, for example, Countryside Custom EQ. Now, I'm going to hit Return to accept that. So now I've created a preset. Now all I need to do for my second track, because if I played it back at the moment, you'd see there's a huge discrepancy. It's too trebly and open again, so again I'll bring up my mixer. I'm going to apply the same EQ, channel EQ, and this time I'm going to click on Show Presets, User Presets, and if I scroll down, I've got the one I just created, Countryside Custom EQ, Apply Preset. So now I've got the exact same settings, and if we listen to it, it matches perfectly. Now you can do this with any filter, it doesn't just have to be an EQ, so if you get a reverb setting, instead of having to go in on each track and try and you know nail the um, settings again verbatim, you can just save it as a preset and then apply it. It's not perfect, but Soundtrack Pro is not perfect, so I hope that was useful and it will speed up your workflow. Until next time, I've been Elliot Baring.